welcome. Today I'm going to be making for you some ackee and saltfish fritters and I'm going to go through the list of ingredients but you'll find it with the correct measurements down below in the description box. So here I have some flour, you'll need salt and pepper. I have my ackee that has already been boiled and cut up and I'm using fresh ackee and if you can't find fresh ackee you can use the one from the tin. Onion, some bandania or shadow benny. This is not the green seasoning mixture, this is just the bandania. Scallions, hot pepper, or you can use pimento pepper, garlic, salt fish that has already been washed and boiled and flaked up, some baking powder, and some yeast. So let's get started on putting this together. To the flour, I'm going to start by adding some salt and add salt to taste or how much you eat. Add black pepper, add in all of the other ingredients your ackee, salt fish, onion, I'm sorry if my hands are blocking, it's just at the angle I'm standing, bandania, now if you don't have fresh bandania in your fridge and you have green seasoning then you can use that, garlic and pepper, scallions, Just gonna give this a mix and I'm gonna add in the baking powder and the yeast mix to combine and now you're gonna add enough warm or lukewarm water to bring this together and I have one and a half cups here I'll let you know how much I use Okay, so that seems like it's enough and all I put in there was a half of a cup. So it depends on your climate and sometimes the brand of flour you're using, you may or may not need more. Once you've mixed in everything, just cover it with a tea towel and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now we're going to move on, on to frying our Sawfish and ackee fritters and I've put up my pot or my frying pan to heat up with some oil. When your oil is nice and hot you can either use an ice cream scoop and this is an, a one inch or you can use a spoon. You're going to pick up portions of your ackee mixture and place it into your hot oil. Allow your aki and saltfish fritters to fry until they're nice and golden brown and because I made them really small they're not going to take very long to fry. So the ackees have a nice golden brown color. It took like two to three minutes to fry because they're so tiny. You can make them bigger if you like. I'm just going to take them out and drain them on some paper towel. I'm going to continue frying the rest of my fritters until I've fried out all of them. So here you have it, my saltfish and aki fritters. Let me just open once you all can see how it is on the inside. See, it's cooked all the way through and you have those pieces of aki in there. And it's so soft and pillowy. It's very soft and spongy and nice. So I went ahead and I served it with my mango habanero sauce, which I would leave the link for up in the right hand corner for you all. I hope you guys enjoyed today's dish. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!